Hello everyone, this is a two video series, this is the part one. On this series we are going to build an application to keep track of the movies to watch. You can associate an image to a movie, this is just an example. So I, uh, I selected here the image with the, with the flowers, but you can change it like I'm doing now. Uh, I will select this one, it's not appropriate for the movie, but it's just for demo. Okay, you can see the image was changed and it's changed here on the, the table view. We are going to learn how to use the table view to display dynamic data and set a click instant on item. So, let's build it. Let's start by creating a new project, so file new project, exactly, and here select app, next, name, you can give you whatever you want, but here I will select movie to watch, now the uh, storyboard, and uh, this keep this way, it was swift and we will not use core data, in this uh, demo. Save it here. here. We are going to use only portrait on this uh, application and let's build it to iPhone 11 Pro Max. Build it to run it faster next time. Okay, here it is empty. Let's start building. So, go to main.storyboard. Here, select this, and and we should embed this in the navigation view controller to have on top here the buttons to go back and the, the title. So, navigation view controller like this. Let's add now the table view. So let's go to the plus sign, search for table view, and it will, yes, and now it appears table view and table view controller. Table view controller is a view controller with um, table view that occupies the full with an 8. I, I personally like more to place a table view because you can uh, customize more as you want. So in this case let's, let's uh, select the table view and place it in the view controller. Yeah. Okay. So now let's add some constraints here. Z zero to all sides. Make sure it's to the safe area. Zero and zero. So yes, add constraints and it's okay now. And add a prototype cell. Okay. There are already some standard cells that are provided here. You have basic and some more, but we are going to use custom and give an identifier, here I will name it movie cell, you can see that, and uh, let's add now an horizontal stack view. Place it here, inside of content view. Let's give now some constraints to this uh, stack view. So here as well, and uh, let's give them, I don't know, um, five, yeah, five, let's give five, 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 to all sides, five, five, yeah, okay, add constraints, and now, uh, image, to inside 
the stack view press control aspect ratio and uh, one to one so the the width is equal to the height one one and uh, this stack view control again and uh, equal e width to the parent and let's change it to 0 0.15 so it's 15 percent of the the full width let's have now another uh, stack view for the labels here and stack view and a vertical one this time so place it here inside the other stack view and uh, let's add now the, the labels for the movie title and for the year label for inside this stack view and uh, another label for the year like this so this both control and to the parent stack view equal widths and equal heights and change the to different size to title 2 and uh, the year uh, the other label let's change it to let's see titled 3 yeah so it looks better this way the the color of the second label so to secondary color it looks be better in this gray and uh, some uh, spacing between the labels 10 Move. seems fine the image the okay and uh, seems seems fine we change to 20 maybe the spacing this one as well okay and the vertical to 10 10 this one and 10 here as well okay now it seems fine we need now to put a placeholder for this image so let's go here and uh, the placeholder I will put is film dot fill this one like this and uh, I will change the color from blue to like this one seems fine okay I think it's all good here in the main not storyboard let's copy this the identifier and create a constant with uh, the value because we are going to use this value and if you don't have it in um, constant you can uh, have some typo and uh, create some bugs in the application so it's better always to put the identifiers in the in the constant okay here on the main dot storyboard we need to connect the table view to the swift class so here select it and uh, call it table view okay and uh, we need to add the data source
There are two ways to implement a data source. The way we are doing now and the other way is using a defillable data source, but that's a newer way and a little bit more complicated. So this video, we are going to do this way and I will release a video to show how to use um, defillable data source. So now let's fix this to implement the two methods and set the data source of the table view as self because we created the instantiation we can set it as self like this we don't need this comment let's remove it okay so these two methods we have the first one that is numbers for row in section and um, so for row what in the first one numbers of rows in sections we are going to um, on one method the numbers of rows in section we are going to say how many rows we want in this section in this case it's the um, number of movies the other method the cell for row what we um, are going to say what cell we are going to use in this case we are going to use movie cell and reuse when we scroll up and down but first let's create the movie structure so command r to create a new file okay. so let's swift file and call it movie Okay, this structure needs to implement YKit, so let's change foundation for YKit. Call it struct and call it movie, like the file, and uh, as fields the title, a string. and the year as int uh, int okay the image is y image this the description a string as well and uh, I think it's all it's done and uh, okay so now let's create a new file the movie manager to like the name says manage the, the movies okay movie manager okay. you will see what okay. this file will have um, a stud as well call it movie manager and I will copy the movies here okay you can see it's just an array of movies let's go back to the view controller and command n to create a new file and because we are going to extend uh, ykit class we are going to use coca touch class so here let's call it movie cell and a class the white value cell okay. let's remove these methods we don't need them okay and remove and associate this class to the storyboard go here 
any class. Place it in the name of class here. Okay. Can check. It's okay. Let's create the IB out outwards. Week and uh, call it movie image for the image. It's an IB image view. This one. Okay. Now for the labels. Let's copy this and place it and change the name and the type. So the name, this one is movie title, it's a Y label, and this is movie here, and it's a Y label as well. Let's connect, let's go here, and select the, okay, so now this one, yeah. Yeah. let's open <laughs> first, yeah, okay, it's easier this way, so this one to the image, this one to the first label and the other one to the other label okay command b now to build again build faith let's check why okay i didn't place the code for these two methods let's do it now we have all the class all the structures neither so let's do so here it's the number of movies so it's movie manager dot hardcoded movies. The, it's the array of movies and the count. Okay, exactly. And now for this one, let's create a cell. Let, okay, let cell equal. And uh, now guard make sure it's all okay so guard let cell equals table view dot the reusable cell this because we don't want to be always creating new cells we want to reuse when possible so if the user scrolls up or down he um, reutilizes the same cell with the identifier it's we can uh, use the class name because it's same so movie cell dot self like this and uh, uh, we need now the other argument to place the index path the index path is uh, to identify the the row of the table view so index path that's this one here we are going to pass here it's okay now cast now to the, the class because the here we are saying that it's a um, table view cell not a movie cell and we need to then cast to movie cell to use the the components to change the the labels and the image so if there is a problem let's create a fatal arrow okay message self uh, like this okay so now we can return the the cell it's just Move the okay. Let's return the cell. Okay. 
and rebuild the project. Yeah, all the arrows gone away. So, because we done cast the cell as movie cell, we can use the movie cell parameters. So, the movie is movie manager dot hardcoded movie so the the array and the index is index path dot row to get the row okay so now to set the parameters let's go to cell dot movie title this one uh, and change the text text equals movie so movie dot uh, title and the image yeah, okay so cell dot movie im is actually movie image dot image equals movie dot image and uh, cell dot movie here is movie dot here Okay, this let me see. okay. So uh, we because movie it's um, inter int and we need a string to associate with uh, the uh, the label. Let's place like this to change from int to a string. And this one I think I made a mistake exactly. It's not y image view but y image here. Okay, let's go back to the view controller. Rebuild again. Okay, build success. And it's all good. Let's build. Okay, it works. You can see here the, the title and the year. And now let's place the, the title on top here. Okay, so main dot storyboard again. Go here, click here, the select it, the navigation item, and as title uh, movies to watch. Run again. Okay, you can see here, but you can edit the the, the bar that change this and see how it goes now. It's bigger now. Some background. Okay, background default boy. Okay, yeah, I think it's gonna be okay now. You can play with it and see how we like it. So, uh, and yeah, and it appears when you go down. Seems good to me. Going up, going down, it appears, it disappears looks really good okay. yeah <laughs> yep let's now continue to now add the the image let's go add first the default image in movie manager okay so static as well the felt image so, okay we need to change to like it here and, and the icon let's copy the same 
has the the preview okay this one here fill dot fill okay copy movie manager and copy co paste here okay and uh, to the movie class and make this variable programmatically and uh, we manage that default we are going to change this to save in the system but for now for that it's, it's okay the comment do not forget okay, let's run The, the placeholder is here. The problem is that you can see here some uh, characters are um, not fitting well. For example, here in 12 Angry Men, you can see some text is not showing. Let's fix this. So, main.storyboard to, to see it better. Let's place it to be. Okay, we can see it now and change definitions of this label go here and this label has a fixed size so if we change that to be dynamic uh, it will look better I think let's try it so let's change this for uh, no I think it looks better uh, with the scale yeah, minimum 0 0.5 that means 50% let's try it run yeah it looks better you can see uh, the text shows everything so I will finish this video here but there will be a part 2 where I will create the movie details and uh, save the image in storage and um, see you then thanks for watching and uh, don't forget if you enjoy this video please subscribe and press the like button and if you have any suggestions for this video, um, comment below and uh, for sure I will read it and uh, thanks, see you in the next one.